Hello and welcome uh, to my next video related to study bank concrete design. So, meron tayong tatlong objectives sa uh, video na to. One is kung paano mag-add ng grade 33 at grade 40 uh, rebar. And also kung paano mag-add ng 3,000 PSI concrete strength at the prime 21 meter pascal. Yung second is uh, paano i-set yung 6 meter commercial length ng rebar para sa bar cutting lift creation. And lastly, uh, we perform natin yung strong column weak beam, weak beam check and joint shape check. Okay, uh, requires a special moment frame. Uh, okay, so nandito yan bale sa uh, NSCP 2015. Okay, so ito yung strong column. So sa 4, 18, 73.2. So nandito yung related din sa strong column weak beam check. And para naman dun sa joint shield check, uh, nandito sa, sa 418.8.4. Okay, so nandiyan yung, yung, yung details, basahin nyo lang nandiyan sa NSCP 2015. Okay, so mag-start na tayo. Okay, uh, dito sa objective number one. So ito yung uh, start model natin. Okay, ito rin yung same na model na ginamit ko doon sa tutorial, tutorial natin no, no? in two-story reinforced concrete residential structure. Okay, so yung 8 videos. Okay, so 8 videos na, na, ito, na tutorial. Okay, so <clears throat> yan sa dyan. Kung gusto nyo ang review ng complete yan uh, from uh, modeling up to design. So parang ito yung continuation nun. Added capabilities sa uh, study bands for design and available lang itong uh, mga capabilities na to sa 6.3 version. Okay, sa so 6.3 version, so um, 6.1 yung gamit nyo, uh, so uh, better na i-upgrade yun ngayon into 6.3. Okay, so ito yung uh, start model natin. So, yan yung may diagram niyan. Okay, so make sure completely analyze yan before natin dalhin sa study advanced concrete. And kailangan din naka-close. Uh, I-close natin yan. Otherwise, hindi yan i re ng study advanced concrete. So, i-close. Then, open natin yung study advanced concrete. Okay, so let's say yung project natin. So, sa project client is Sir De La Rosa and yung engineer, lagay nyo lang yung initial nya so, ACI 318 tayo okay? so related to sa NSCP so i-key in natin dito yung start model natin okay? which is this one so, click open then click natin yung beam then yung, yung level 4.8 lang yung design natin so click the project Okay, so ito na yun. Uh, set lang natin yung load cases tsaka yung load combination. PX, PZ, dead load, drive load. Dali natin doon. So click OK. Then, pwede tayo mag-generate ng load combinations dito. Okay, pero i-click na lang natin itong add from analysis. Since meron na tayong load combination from start. Okay, yan. Kailangan yan. Okay, so yung frame load combination lang. Okay. Then, punta tayo dito sa settings and general enforcement. Okay, so set up natin to sa special moment frame. Okay, then for concrete grade, wala tayo dyan T21 tsaka FY225. So, mag a tayo. Okay, so click add. So, type natin dito 21. Check. And dito naman 225 para sa grade 33 pa. Still. Check. So, concrete grade 21, steel grade 225. Okay. Then, uh, i-co-controlin natin yung rebar natin ito 16mm lang. Para one side lang. So, minimum, maximum 16. Uh, okay na itong mga stirrups natin, 10 and 12 maximum. Then, clear cover natin to 40. Okay, concrete cover. 
Then aggregate size natin is 3.4 inch ng gravel. So, with the amount. Okay? So, then click OK. Then after nyan, punta ko lang sa design. Click auto design. Ayan. So, tapos na yung design natin. So, i-produce na natin yung beam schedule. So, click OK. Ayan. So, ito na yung beam schedule natin. Okay. So, C21 is 0.225. Okay. Ayan. So, okay na tayo ngayon dito sa objective number 1. So, yung objective number 2 natin, so, set natin uh, yung 6 meter commercial length para sa bar cutting list. So, punta ko lang dito sa BBS. Then, uh, generate BBS. Uh, but before that, punta muna tayo dito. So, i-produce natin yung bar cutting list ng B11, B12, and B13. Okay. So, punta ko lang dito BBS. Generate BBS. B11, B12, B13. Then, maximum rebar length. Okay. Commercial length natin is 6, 6 meters. Then, click generate. Ayan. So, ito na yung beam elevation natin. Okay, nandun yung mga location ng splices. May bar tagging, then punta ka lang dito. Okay, para dun sa uh, bar cutting list. So, makikita nyo dyan, walang more than 6,000 mm dyan. Ano? So, maximum natin 5,965. Okay, kasi sinetap natin yung uh, maximum commercial length into 6 meter or 6,000 mm. Okay, so yan. So, tapos na tayo. Okay, dito sa objective number 2. And last, dito na tayo sa objective number 3. Okay, so sa column design na tayo pupunta. Okay, so uh, file, then click. So, i-save lang natin itong project natin. So, save lang natin yan. So, let's say beam design. Click save. Yes. Okay, then mag-column design na tayo. Punta ko sa file, click new. Then, so project let's say. Then client is De La Rosa, then engineer initial, so ACI ito the one ito ulit, then i-key in natin yung start model natin dito click open, then punta ka lang dito sa column and wall design then click new project okay so yun na yung mga columns natin so set up lang natin yung uh, <coughs> yung basic load cases natin and yung load combination Okay, then, so add from analysis na lang tayo. Then, hindi natin kailangan to. Okay. Uh, then, settings. Dito tayo sa design settings. So, special moment frame tayo. So, para mag-check siya ng joint shear, tsaka ng uh, strong column uh, with beam check. So, kailangan uh, i-check mo itong ductile design. Otherwise, hindi mo check -check. Hindi niya ipoy-perform yung calculation na yun. Okay. So, i-click mo lang ito. Then, let's say uh, special. Okay. Then, uh, material properties. Mag-add tayo ng FC Prime 21. Tsaka yung 225 na FY. So, click add. So, 21. Then, FY. 225. Okay. Then, click OK. So, then dito natin yun ni uh, sa level data, dito natin yun ni change So, we are cover 40, 40, 40. Comfort is 21. Okay. And dito naman is 225. So, pwedeng i-copy and pwedeng i-copy and paste yun. Ctrl C, Ctrl B, Ctrl B. Okay. Then, after nyan, punta ko lang dito sa design. Then, click auto design. And that's it. Okay, so na-design na natin lahat ng columns. Okay, so next is i-generate na lang natin yung column schedule. So click OK. Okay, so ito na yung column schedule natin. Okay, then calculation ng, uh, ng strong column with beam tsaka yung joint shear check. So punta ko lang dito sa reports. Then, punta ka dito sa, hindi dito sa design calculation siya. So, separate by top. Okay. So, let's say C1. Okay. So, so separate yung calculation na yan. So, punta ka dito sa reports. Then, uh, join, uh, join checks. 
Okay, E1, keep OK. Now, upon the join check, okay, so ito yung strong column, okay, weak beam check, so sabi ni yung problem, okay. So, valid yun. Okay, so okay daw to. And para naman sa uh, shear strength ng joint, joint shear check, so okay din. Ayan. Okay, so lahat ng columns natin is okay. Okay, so okay, so that's it. So, okay, so natapos natin itong three objectives dito sa tutorial. And uh, thank you and see you for more videos.